Bienvenidos and welcome friends, my name is Crossfight and today we're going to get a little beginner's look at the stable version of Vroid Studio. If you're coming from the beta version, things are very different and if you are completely new to Vroid Studio, then welcome aboard, we're glad to have you here. I'm going to go ahead and start up a new session here. As you can see we have a create new button, or you can play around with some of the sample models that Vroid Studio has included. Go ahead and hit create new and you get to choose from a more feminine or masculine type of body i'm going to go ahead and just click feminine for now it's going to take a moment to load and once we're in the main software here it's going to go ahead and load in a prefabricated model right off the bat you can choose from a face set over here on the left side if you want to you can scroll in if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse and get a better look at the face as you go through and choose a preset of the face. Once you have a preset chosen, go ahead and look over here on the right side and you can see all the parameters of the face. If this is a little overwhelming for you, you can narrow this down over on the left side where each category is split up individually. So if you just want to change the eyes, they have their own, the irises of the eyes, if you want to just get in more detail with that, as well as the eye highlights, the scleras, eyebrows, eyelids, eyeliner, eyelashes, nose, mouth, mouth inside, lips, cheeks, skin, face paint, and the expressions editor is also here. So all of your functionality can kind of be streamlined if you just want to work on one thing at a time. The next category up here at the top is hairstyles. The nice thing about this version of Vroid is that you can actually just click and get a hairstyle right off the bat without any additional work. If you're coming from the beta version, you may recall that building hair was quite a tedious and long task. Here in the stable version of Vroid, everything is available as a preset, so that way you don't have to create your own hairstyles. The nice thing about this is just like with the face over here on the left, you can choose to customize each individual piece. So you can change the front, the back, the overall hair if you'd like, the extensions, the side, the ahoge. There's some extras available as well as changing the color of the base hair. As you move on to the body tab, you can see that there are two different body types to choose from by default. Once again, all of the sliders on the right side here will change the aspects of the body. Feel free to mess around with these, shoulders, waist, torso, etc. This is where all of the body related sliders are going to live. Our next category is going to be the outfits. Once again, if you're coming from the beta, there are significantly more outfits to choose from which is very nice. If you don't want to mess with the whole set, on the left side here, you can individually mess with the tops, the bottoms, dresses, neck accessories, arm accessories, which there's nothing in currently, inner tops, inner bottoms, socks, and shoes. So quite a few options to choose from. Again, if you don't want to mess with the entire outfit, you just choose one of these categories, add it, remove it as you would like, and mess around with all the settings on the right side here. The next category is accessories. The nice thing about this, there's two accessories included now, which we did not have in the previous version. There's glasses, both thick or thin available, and then animal ears. You can have cat ears or rabbit ears. It's simple as clicking those on, and you've got them. You can make adjustments as needed on positioning, size, uh, roundness. All those things are built right in on the right side here. And same with glasses. If you just want to add them, it's as simple as a click, and you can move those around as you please. The last category here is look. I actually recommend this to be the first place you go when you're creating a new model, especially once you get more experience with things. You're going to want to look at the outlines, depending on the style that you want to go with. Uh, you have outlines for the hair, face, body, and accessories, so keep that in mind. You also have rim light. This is a preference thing if you really like rim lights. You can mess with that, the intensity on the hair, the face, and the body. There's also shading, same thing, face, hair, and body. And you can adjust the softness, the shading area, and the hardness of that. So that can give a very stylized look to your model, depending on if that's something you're going for or not. Next category is alignment of the eyes. So you can mess with how the eyes look, up, down, inner, and outer. And the last section here is bones, which right here in this section, you won't actually see any difference in the adjustments you will have to go to the export section to look at that. So where is the export and what's the extra functionality that we lost or was moved in the beta? Well, up here in the top right corner, there's this little camera button. This is where you're gonna see your bones and things in action. The first section here is gonna be the facial expressions where you can mess with emotions, 
sad, angry, joy, happy, surprise, these types of expressions. You can also adjust the eyebrows, the eyes, the mouth, and those types of things individually. The nice thing about this, compared to previous versions, you also have things like teeth that you can mess with, vampire teeth, shark teeth, these are all actual functional things that didn't quite work in the beta version. Our poses and animations are here. They're actually a little more accessible than they were in the beta as well. We have animations one, animations two, which used to be male and female. They're now called animations one, animations two. And then there's posing if you want to have custom poses. That is the third option here where you can move your model around however you'd like. And whenever you want to take a screenshot, you just hit the little camera button, which is down here in the bottom right of the window. The next category is the background. If you want to import a background or change the color of the background, you can easily do that now right here with the color wheel. You can change the lighting if you would like, the position both vertically and horizontally, as well as the intensity of the light and the color. Wind is still a function that came from the beta, so you can adjust the wind on the X, Y, or Z axis, any direction. Post-processing effects are still here, so if you want to have anti-aliasing, low or high, bloom, color grading, comic effects, or motion blur, those are still here. And then lastly, if you want to adjust the picture size, you can set the height and the width of the picture or screenshot that you're going to take. There are some options built in right here if you don't want to manually type those in. When you're done in this section, once again, the X is in the top left corner. We're going to return to the top right here once we're back at the main screen. And that's going to give you your export as VRM or upload to the VRite Hub, if that's something you choose to do. When you go to export as VRM, it may take a minute to get to this window. We have similar options that we had in the beta version, where you can delete transparent meshes. You can adjust the hair smoothness, how many polygons are going to be in the hair, face, body, outfit, those types of things. It isn't recommended to mess with these when you're new to VRoid Studio, but once you're more advanced, you may want to make those adjustments. Same thing with reduced materials. You can reduce the texture quality if you so choose, as well as combine hair mesh. If you're going to be doing adjustments in systems like Unity or Blender, you will definitely want to uncheck combine hair mesh. So things like tails and ears and other accessories that you may need to create won't be a problem once you get there. The last thing is reduce bones. Once again, I don't recommend this if you're new to the software, but once you know what you're doing, you may want to reduce those bones if you need to. When you're all set, hit export. The title and the creator information is always required. If you'd like, you can add your contact information, a reference if you used one, and the version of this model. Down here under avatar personality, you can assign who can make changes to this. So only the creator, only those with explicit authorization, or anyone. For example, if you're doing a commission, you'd probably want to have this set to only those with explicit authorization. But if you're going to put something on Booth or the VRoid Hub, you may want to set it to anyone so that anyone can access it. You can also limit whether you want depictions of violence, sexual acts, or commercial use. And if there's any license information, you put the URL in this section. Last thing, redistribution and alteration. If you want to include the Creative Commons license or other license, you can do that here. Usually, redistribution is prohibited, but that's up to you. Once again, there's a section for the URL on that. When you're done, you hit export and save it where you like. I do want to quickly note that anything that you're working on, whether it be the face, the hair, the body, there's always an edit texture option up here in the top right hand corner. So if you hit edit texture, it will pull up the texture that you need to work on, whether it's for the hair, body, etc. So whatever you're working on over here will always be reflected on your model over here. This was just a quick look at the available features in the stable version of Vroid Studio. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more or more detailed videos on each of the features in the software, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment on what you want to see. I will catch you all in the next video. See ya!